So we've got Hadji as the next ultimate birthday icon. 81 rated squad for the loan. It's got to be done. Here's a 5 star, 5 star, dead ball, finesse shot, 5 for a high medium. Pretty standard stuff. Now, in terms of the difference for him, because I thought he was going to be mini release, I didn't know he was going to be an SBC. It is just unfortunately a one upgrade from the previous card, but he's got five extra pace, one shooting, one passing, two dribbling, but 18 defending and 13 physical. So he's had a massive update in terms of his whole stats. In terms of play styles, we have got chip shot, we've got power shot, incisive, technical, flair, and also first touch. And in terms of the stats itself, for how much it's going to cost, I don't think he's the worst card. We've got the bronze and silver, 81, 86, twice, 87, 87, and an 88. So realistically, not a bad looking card, to be honest. For an SBC, you've got realistically there, what, you take three of the squads out, you've only got five to go. I don't think that's really the worst compared to a lot. And it's kind of like your right card, your Shevchenko's. He's not going to be number one in the game, but he most definitely could fit a squad potentially. So obviously we've got to put a chem style on him. Honestly, yeah, it depends what you want to do with him. I think shooting wise is good. I really want to put him kind of more attacking than anything. So I was kind of looking at the hunter really, but I'm thinking, could I get away with some sort of defending stats just to make him more into a balanced center mid? So I'll be interested to know what you'd go for there. I'm going to go for the shadow to start with, and then we'll kind of see where we can go with, depending on how he actually fits into the team. So let's jump into him and see what this 9155 can actually do. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Right, let's find him straight away. I can imagine he should feel <laughs> a little bit better on the ball for tackling. That would have been nice. But he should feel quite agile. Normally, that is kind of the case with Haji. He's not, like I say, like number one everybody's list. But he most definitely comes in as a cheaper option that normally works out if you've not necessarily got anybody else to kind of go with. When we've got the 5-5 five five as well, that always adds a decent bonus to him. So that is definitely something to look at. Can we find a little ball over the top? Oh, Nesta with a big head. I think if you was to only have really one complaint with the card, I do think they could have upgraded him in terms of overall rating a little bit more. I think the one upgrade is is fine. Like we, It's not like we've not seen crazy amounts on everybody else. But I, I just think when you're looking at a card, it's kind of like the Van Nistelrooy, the Ian Wright. that He needs a little bit more. He's not already a top-end card. So... To put him in there, he's going to need something a bit more special. The 5-5 five five obviously is a good bonus. The Playstyle Plus is a decent enough, but again, they're not necessarily anything groundbreaking on a card. And in terms of the defending physical, even though, again, it's a nice upgrade for Hadji, it's not as if like he overtakes a Putiela's team of the year, a Zidane, and anybody of that sort of caliber. So already, if you've got that top top, He's not even in the contention there. That that could be the only issue with him. But then pricing and, and kind of how that works, that's going to kind of sway the decision. He's not going to be a 2-3 mil card, most definitely. He's currently coming in at 520,000. So a, a decent price. Can we whip it into Mbappe? Little one. Can we find him again? Little touch, and it's a great challenge from Yashin. I really want to see what that shooting ability is like. Like, what what sort of attacking option is he actually got? Could he be... I, I wouldn't even say a striker, because I don't, I, don't, I don't think he could be a striker. But how far up the pitch? Could he be a center forward? Somebody who assists the play. He's kind of more heavy on the attack than kind of what was first imagined for him. And I think in terms of pricing... I don't think 500's bad. I, I must admit, I thought he could have been cheaper. I think he most definitely could sit at like 300 and be absolutely fine. That is a great bit of skill. Nesta didn't know what to do, and that's the assistant play that I want to see from him. It's exactly Zidane-esque in terms of tricking the opponent. But like I said, in terms of that, we kind of see the, the Rykards, the Shevchenkos, where they come in a lot cheaper than your 2 million, 1 million coin card. And I think that is kind of where I would probably put his price point at. Good finesse. That's not going to trouble the keeper, though, is it? 
Good interception. Oh, well, a little bit of a wasted skill from myself there. That is totally on me. What a big question would be is how many play how many people actually use a cam roll as well? Let me know down below if you do, because I think that is a big question as well. Because when it comes to a centre mid, I, I don't really think he sits in anywhere there. I think centre mid wise, when you look at the Zidans, when you look at obviously the the Rolfos, the Bellinghams, the more uh, kind of complete centre mids. They will always be the better shout no matter what. So that is always going to be a really hard point for him to kind of come across with. Lovely little sweat again. So that already is a very uphill battle. He's kind of there just as fodder then. So I think that is where we need to make them. Like how your Van Nistelrooy is, how your Ian Wright is, where they are con a considerable upgrade for the player. But then they're also cheap enough to say, how enough has that gone in? They're cheap enough to actually warrant just sticking them in your club because that's what they want to do. They're not expecting a load of people to go out and do Hadji, stick him in the main team if you've been playing for so long, especially if you've done a Rolfo, if you've got any of the team of the year centre mids, if you've done Zidane, if you've done Hullet. There's so many top end centre mids that we've had that now it's like, well, what's the point? We've even had Zico. If he was to look at the same positioning, is he going to be better for the price? Good block from Hadji. He's put it in danger again. How on earth have we got Yashin scoring a goal against us? Good challenge from him. Find the ball forward. Can we find anything back to it? Ah, can we find anything back across? Lovely Mbappe. And he's going to win it back again. Nearly. Back to one more. Can we ping it in? Ronaldo's feet. Oh, we went for the power shot and I wanted to cancel it. It's it's a hard one with him. I think centre mid, he's out of his depth. There's just no cover there whatsoever. And I think even with the shadow, it's not enough defensive ability to, to warrant changing. Especially from someone like Zidane. Even though very similar, that is a great pass. But a rubbish ball out. God, the first touch that was that was poor on myself. But I do think when 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 we look at a centre mid, they they've just got to have some talent there. And I think, oh, can we nick it? Oh no, he's even he's not even in the corner. <laughs> I thought he was going to move the keeper across. I thought I might have been able to sneak it. it he's very much on the attacking side, and I, I do think in terms of what we're working with here, agility seems not a problem. Attacking seems good, pace is good. But when it comes to a centre mid, if you are just using centre mids in your team I, I don't think he's going to really fit in that role especially with the cards that we've got like I, I'm not putting Rolf over there just so that I've got Zidane there at the moment I, I don't think Hadji's going to take in that sort of spot he seems to be so out of position when it comes to it I would definitely recommend more into a, a kind of cam role specifically especially if you're like a 4-2-3-1 or something like that where you've got a specific role for him but going into the overall form then, 520 or 510 give or take, what are the most expensive? Because when it comes to these SBCs, they're most definitely not the, they're not the hardest to do bar from normally one or two squads. Especially when you go for the top end, it's the 90, the 89s. They can be difficult when there's more than one. Because you've not only got to get a 90 squad, which is very difficult, then trying to get two or three of them, it's a lot more challenging. Whereas an 88... If you've got a few 90s and 89s in the club that you're not using, that becomes very easy. And then you already go down one. And I think 87 to 85, they are the most common SBCs that we can get done pretty quickly. Now, the informs going to take a little bit more to get. I don't think the SBC is totally wrong. What I do want to know is what is Shevchenko coming at in this market price? Because I feel like that is the level that we should be looking at. So we've got Shevchenko at 270, 230. I think he should be there. And it's the same as Baggio. I think Baggio should be cheaper as well. So it, it's kind of, I understand that they go in the double play style plus. He's got a 5-5. Five five. That's all fair enough. But he's, again, not necessarily a massive deal in comparison. Like, we already had uh, a 4-4, four four, which is not terrible. Can, uh, in fact, can even, he, he can even go into the 5-5. Five five. So you technically can make him 
just without the stats, but you can make him a 5-5 anyway. So I think this SBC should have been more around the 300k mark. I don't think it's a wow SBC, but it's definitely enough to kind of drain a little bit of fodder if you can. Now, in terms of chemistry style, people a lot are looking at the Hunter or Hawk, which is more than fair enough. You're going to end up with 98 pace, 95 shooting. Like I said, if you are looking at more the cam roll, he most definitely would suit that much better. The agility is fantastic. You've got a decent amount of passing. The dead ball, once you get free kicks and corners, is going to be useful. Decent finish on him, and the pace is fantastic as well. I don't see the problem with the card other than maybe just being a little bit more expensive than what I kind of want. The finesse is a decent playstyle plus, and the dead ball's great if you don't have one as well, or another one in your team as such. But overall, I think mediocre player, decent on the, the actual stats, but not going to change a team much, in my opinion. Let me know down below if you're going to complete him though, and I'll see you all for the next evolution. Peace.